Hi, dear one. It's Jeanette Jin Anakini, Certified Regenerative Detox Specialist and Alkaline Health Coach. I wanted to do this little video on the great lymphatic system because this is actually our true immune system. And it's just really a pleasure and honor to share what I've learned in terms of letting my body heal itself naturally. So what's really interesting about the lymph system is that you can actually see through the irises the level of lymph congestion and stagnation in the body. And you can actually see these clouds lifting off the irises with a macro lens image, of course, after one has done a lot of regenerative healing and detoxification, purifying the body. So yeah, and the other interesting thing is that you can actually see the acids coming out through the urine. So the kidneys are king of filtration of the lymph system. The kidneys are the most important to detoxify the body. And sadly, we're taught about the liver only in the holistic industry, but we need to look at the kidneys. And you can actually take your first morning urine in a jar, collect it, cool it in the fridge for a few hours, and then later just hold it up to a dark background. And if you see any like sediment, cloudiness, a mucus strain, I don't care, you just don't want it to be clear. That means that your kidneys are filtering if there's sediment, kind of like a snow globe you would shake at, you know, Christmas time and you see all that snow in there. The medical system only looks at the blood. We're only 25% blood. What about the other 75% of the fluid that our body's made up of, yeah? This lymphatic fluid, this sewer system, this is really important to support the well-being, you know? This is something that basically all cellular waste, all virals, all parasites, anything that is toxic, Anything that the body doesn't thrive on is dumped into the lymph system. So we refer to it in regenerative detoxification as the sewer system of the body, the blood being the kitchen. So the kitchen is what feeds the cells and the cells actually not only eat, but they also poop. So the cellular waste get dumped into the lymph system and the only way to actually remove these wastes so that we don't get things like um, cysts, polyps, tumors, these kind of things grow when we don't detoxify our lymph system and also we feel stagnation. Uh, think about the, the lymph system as a body of water and if it's not moving, if it's not hydrated, you get stagnation if there's a pond that's actually gone stagnant you'll have a lot of bugs and algae and you're not going to want to go drink from that right so the thing about the lymph is it's got to be hydrated it's got to be moving so that the waste can be removed through the kidneys and uh, bladder and colon which are connected to the lymph system so if the body is made up of 75 percent lymph and we're only looking at the blood it shows the ignorance, yeah, with the medical system and the importance to take our health into our own hands and really be our own healer. So if alkali and chemistry are hydrating and cooling where they put out the fire, acids are actually creating a lot of stagnation. They're literally sticking things together this agglomulated state where you might feel pain one day in the shoulder and then it moves down the back it's in the middle of the back then the next day it's in the lower back and you think oh what's this pain why is it moving around that's the acids so acids and chemistry are hot inflammatory corrosive and uh, quite coagulating so they cause a lot of issues in terms of pain in the body I'm really looking forward to doing some more little short videos like this. I'm out on my walk here at the Leslie Spit and with the lymph system, it works more muscular. It's not like the blood that has a pump. We actually need to move the body and that actually gets the lymph moving. So all the waste can be removed from the body so that our entire temple feels just beautiful and the health of the mind, body and spirit are uh, 
improved and one might even experience vitality when they have a really flowing hydrated lymph system and what also affects the hydration and the movement of the lymph is the alkaline acid balance in chemistry so we want to make sure that we're more on the alkaline side of chemistry because alkali are actually hydrating and will support the movement of the lymph and yeah move your body but in more gentle ways so like not really going for a run because this creates a lot of lactic acid or like a lot of bodybuilding this is more acidic in nature the acids actually create that stagnation and are the waste that we're trying to remove so that we don't get these health issues so we want like aerobic mild aerobic uh, trampoline walking stuff like this to move the lymph system here if you have any questions i'm actually taking some new clients for in a group coaching so we'll be taking about five or seven in that course and it'll be an intimate safe container for us all to share about our healing journey and to learn more about how the body heals all by itself so that course is called the sovereign healer and i'm really excited to introduce that to you dear one so send a dm if you're interested in more information or you want to be on the wait list so it's really neat to be able to monitor the body and the kidney filtration in this way and to really just learn more about the lymph system and how by moving the lymph we could experience more vitality, more energy in general.